All right, for those of you who have a really good memory, back on episode 151 of Ham Nation, June of 2014, I did a segment on how to send your cards out to get confirmation from DXCC entities that do not use LOTW. Well, now that you're getting those cards, here's what you do with them next. So you'll need to go to the ARRL website, which is ARRL.org. Now, if you live in the United States, you do need to be an ARRL member to take advantage of the DXCC program. If you live outside of the United States, you do not. So go to the ARRL website, and then you're going to click on the air and go down to the DXCC program. And when you click that, you will see the DXCC online application. Go ahead and click that. And then that will take you to this page and click that very top ARRL DXCC online application system. Now you want to make sure once you're here that you are logged in because then it has all your information stored. Go ahead and click your enter QSOs. And when you click that, it'll take you to the screen where you can start entering all the QSO information from the cards that you have. So you want to take your cards and enter all the information on that as you see it on your card into the online application system. And so go ahead and type that all in for each QSO on each card. Now some cards contain more than one QSO. You might as well type that in too uh, in case maybe not now but down the road you might be chasing banned countries. And what's really nice is they have all these drop down menus which will help to keep you from making a mistake. But of course we're all human and we all make mistakes. So as soon as you're done entering the QSO, you're going to want to go through and double check before you hit save that everything you entered is correct. But don't worry, if you do accidentally hit the save button, uh, and you need to make a correction, there will be a spot at the end where you can make any changes. So once it's correct, hit save. So it's stored that QSO and it's ready for you to enter your next QSO. So you're going to want to enter that and then just keep going till all your cards have been entered. And of course, double check it again before you hit the save. And if it's correct, hit save. I'm going to stop here because all it offers me here is the Philippines. And if you look at my card, it's actually Spratly Island. So when you hit something like that, you're going to click the all other DXCC entities. And then that's going to give you every DXCC entity. And then you can go find the specific one that wasn't showing in the drop down. Now back to entering more QSOs. Finally, they're all entered. So now if you just slide on down, it's going to show everything you entered and you can go through and double check one last time. And this is where you can make any other edits. As you see, there's an edit button there uh, in case you need to make any changes. Once you know everything's good, hit submit DXCC application and it's going to take you down here. And like I said, it's going to pre-fill all your information in there since you're an ARRL member. Now if this is your first time going for DXCC, which is your first 100 countries, you're going to hit that top box that you're going for a new award or any other new award you're going for. The rest of us are going to hit the endorsement box. Make sure everything is correct and then hit continue. And this is going to take you to the screen that shows all the QSOs you entered. 
go down to the bottom click continue that brings us to the payment page now it'll automatically estimate your cost for you and if you are a diamond member or higher there is no cost it's free so click continue and then on this page check any boxes that need checking and click continue again and now you just want to scroll down to the very bottom and click submit application it'll ask if you're sure and hit OK and the last thing you want to do is view application and that's going to bring up the DXCC award application along with the record sheet so when that comes up you can go down and see the application there and then below that is your record sheet of all the QSOs you're going to want to print this up bring this with you along with your cards to your card checker now you can find card checkers usually at a lot of the larger ham fest and I want to take you back real quick to the original online DXCC page go to learn more and that's where you can see the fee schedule uh, for if you're going to do it through LOTW through the online application or through a paper log and there they are so again make sure your application is complete accurate make sure your cards are in the same order as your DXCC record sheet so you can be kind to your ARRL card checker because remember they're volunteers by the way you guys in the chat room can you recognize that XYL checking cards right there that's Kay Craigie president of the ARRL